fall. It started in a small apartment building yesterday afternoon and spread to two other buildings. In all, 12 apartment units were damaged. 30 people were displaced. A Wheaton College graduate and former wrestling star is accused of killing his pregnant wife in Minnesota. Police say Eugene Savinock stabbed his wife several times inside their home in Eden Prairie Saturday morning and then took off with their two children. Savinock turned himself into police hours later. He graduated from Wheaton College in 2008 and attended Wheaton Warrenville South High School. Police in New Jersey arrested this man, Bruce Post III, after finding a large uh, amount of weapons in the state's Pinelands region. They say Post is a suspected white supremacist who wears a Hitler-style mustache. First, investigators found his car Sunday, then they discovered the weapons nearby. Post was arrested dressed in full combat gear. Chicago chef and restaurant owner Tony Hu has pleaded guilty to charges of fraud and money laundering. The charges stem from a raid of his nine restaurants in October 2014. Prosecutors say he hid millions to avoid paying taxes. He agreed to pay more than a million dollars from restitution to Illinois. He'll be sentenced in August. He faces up to four years in prison. New information comes out today about the cause of last year's deadly Amtrak derailment in Philadelphia. An NTSB investigation concluded the train's engineer was distracted by radio transmissions before the crash. The report says he'd been listening to radio conversations about other trains being hit with projectiles. The crash killed eight people and injured hundreds of others when the train jumped the tracks while going 106 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone. Investigators found no evidence the engineer was using alcohol, drugs, or a cell phone. More than 60 years after the Supreme Court ordered school districts to desegregate, a Mississippi school district just got its final order to desegregate. The district is in Cleveland, 100 miles northwest of Jackson. The Justice Department says a predominantly black middle school must integrate the predominantly white middle school. The same order also affects a black high school and a white high school. Two teenagers are lucky to be alive after men armed with a gun tried to force their way into a house in Seattle. 15-year-old Brooke says she was getting ready for school when she looked out of the window of her home, noticed her brother with a gun to his head. Her brother Tanner was leaving home when two men pulled into their driveway, pulled a gun on him and demanded he open the door. When he refused, the men tried to get Brooke to open the door from inside. And I just kept saying, no, I'm not going to open the door. And then my sister saw them, and he was telling her to open the door. And she came, and I was mouthing 911 to her. My brother looked horrified, and, like, it made me not want to open the door to see a gun to his head. I didn't know what to do. Like, I couldn't help him. I didn't know how. Tanner says the men eventually got spooked when they thought they saw a neighbor, so they hit him with a can of pepper spray and ran away. Police are still searching for those men. The Illinois State Prison System will build four new mental health treatment units. A federal judge approved a settlement between the system and 11,000 mentally ill prisoners who called.